Hi, Dr. Jaffe. Um, today we are uh, doing an interesting topic and really relevant one. Can you clarify for us what NAC is, why it's not needed, and what is needed instead? We'd love to know. Yes, well, when we say NAC or NAC, that's an abbreviation for a chemical, a derivative amino acid called N-acetylcysteine. Now, cysteine is a very important molecule. It is one of the three amino acids in glutathione. And many people have over the years given N-acetylcysteine NAC in the illusion, illusion that raising the cysteine level, because first the liver has to deacetylate it, but raising the sulfur cysteine level will build glutathione. And that was disproved scientifically disproved by Alton Meister in the 1980s, who showed that ascorbate taken based on the C cleanse is the best way to protect, renew, restore, and build glutathione in the cell. Beyond ascorbate, magnesium is your friend, as are certain other buffering minerals like zinc. And while NAC is not needed because it doesn't build glutathione and it creates only illusion and every carefully done scientific study has shown NAC to not reach significance. Now there is a regulatory ban, which people should be aware of and not ignore. But what is needed? What's needed is ascorbate, magnesium based on urine pH in the morning, the ascorbate based on a C cleanse or however you want to calibrate, because biological needs for ascorbate vary all over the place today. And then enrich your diet in G, G, O, B, E. Ginger, garlic, onions, brassica sprouts. All sprouts are good, but broccoli sprouts, brassica sprouts are best, and eggs. And my recommendation is goose, quail, or duck eggs, or at least organic or biodynamic if they're chicken eggs. Because the egg doesn't fall far from the chicken, and what the chicken eats commercially is not what I would want in my egg. But GGOBE, garlic, ginger, onions, brassica, sprouts, and eggs, I think if you tickle me in the middle of the diet, I'm likely to say GGOBE. They are staples in a healthy person's diet. They're not just condiments. So please look up online our Nature's Alkaline Way, the Joy of Living the Alkaline Way guide, and all of the many resources from video to books and messages that show why working with nature in Nature's Alkaline Way achieves sustainable good health. Help ever, harm never is one of our values, one of our principles, something we learned from Rudolf Steiner. Now is the time to get beyond the illusions of things like NAC and NAC and get on to the things that nature has always provided as biodetoxifiers, and that includes GGOBE, ascorbate, magnesium, and friends. So choose life, add life to years and years to life, and forget about NAC.